I hope you guys are all having a monumental day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad engine control module. The purpose of the ECM is to monitor most sensors in your car to calculate ignition timing, air slash fuel ratio, and emissions. Some people relate this to the brain of the car. The ECM also warns you with an engine light if it senses something wrong and gives you a code for diagnostic purposes. The first symptom you might be experiencing with your car is an engine light. If the ECM is malfunctioning, it's going to throw off a code. Here are some codes related to the ECM. In some situations, the ECM might be throwing engine sensor codes that don't even have a problem. You change the brand new sensor, you check the wiring for tears, you check the connections for corrosion, and everything checks to be good, while unfortunately, the engine light is still on. This could be due to internal damage of the ECM. Maybe water got inside and started to cause corrosion, or there could have been a short inside on that specific circuit. The second symptom you might be experiencing with your car is a no start. Since the ECM monitors important engine sensors in your car, like the crankshaft sensor, mass airflow sensor, and O2 sensors to make fuel injection and spark decisions, if it's failing, it won't be able to make the proper commands. All of these factors are super important for your car to start. The third symptom you might be experiencing with your car is your engine stalling. You're driving down the road and your car just gives out and turns off for no reason. The same reason applies here. The ECM is not giving the proper spark and fuel commands at the perfect time to execute an efficiently running engine. The fourth symptom you might be experiencing with your car is a loss of acceleration. The ECM is also responsible for reading the throttle position. If the reading is faulty, it won't make the right commands, creating an improper air slash fuel ratio. This leads me to my last symptom, shifting problems. Your car could be making a hard shift when changing gears, or maybe you'll experience a delayed shift. The reason why this could happen is because the ECM communicates the throttle position data to the transmission control module to shift efficiently. Now if the ECM is sending a faulty reading to the TCM, this is where the shifting problems start to occur. Fantastic! We just learned symptoms of a bad ECM. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.